Good afternoon, five minutes with Pastor Dave. It's been a wonderful day. We've had three baptismals today and uh, had a great time, and uh, we just enjoyed uh, the good service that we had. Uh, I went to a praise and worship service uh, at, uh, in Washington Friday night on at the River City Church there, and as I was going over there, I'd been praying about the message for today, and uh, the Lord told me that be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. I started thinking about that. That's Galatians 6, 9. And I've been thinking about that, how many people that I'd talked to this past week said, Pastor, I don't know how much I can take of this. I don't know. I'm wearing down. And people said, you know, it, it just seemed like I'm just over and over, just like on a treadmill, like a miracle round. I'm not going anywhere. It's amazing how many people had just discussed that with me this past week. And and I thought about uh, the uh, the truth of that, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you shall reap if you faint not. You know, one of the things we've got to understand that there's an enemy that's trying to wear us down. In the Revelation 7.25, it says that the, the enemy, the, the Antichrist, would wear down the saints, or the Satan would, the wearing down of the saints. You know, he doesn't come in a thunderclap or a strike of lightning like that. But the way the enemy, had, the Bible says in Corinthians, we're not ignorant of his devices. And the way he does, the Satan comes at you to try to get you down is by little, by little, by little. The, the word wearing down of the saints, that wearing down is, is, is a gradual, little by, by little, by little. In fact, it's, it's so gradual that you don't even realize it's happening. I was uh, by a house the other day, and when these people bought this house, uh, it was all, this man bought this house, and he's not taking care of his yard and, and uh, here in Herman, and I, and I looked at that, and then I saw trees growing up the side, vines growing all over, and I, here's a man that little by little, his house looks like a, a mess. It really looks like a mess. It's a disgrace for Herman. And I thought, you know, little by little, we can get to a place where we, we fail to realize what the enemy's doing to us. You know, it's a it's a day by day thing that the enemy is warring against you. There's a devil that hates you, and the Bible tells us to be strengthened with power and might from the inner man. That you need help, but you have to have time with God. You know, little by little, He'll take the time of your devotion, take your time of your time with God. You won't have time to listen to him. You don't have time to. I know myself. You know, I run a busy schedule. I, uh, I, I'm, I'm going, going 90 miles an hour all the time, and I know several of you are too. And, um, and I realize if I don't really stop and grab myself by the nap of the neck and say, Dave, you're going to have to stop, and you're going to have to spend time with God. You know, you, you can get so wrapped up in busyness, that, that freshness, that, that you remember when you first got saved, how exciting it was and how, how, how oh, men jubilant it was, and then it's little bit by little bit. You know, I've watched Christians that uh, in my uh, 60 years of ministry, uh, they started out real fire and boy on power for God, and little by little by little, they soon cooled off, and, and then God wasn't that important to them anymore. They existed through life, and busy and you know all oh, they just look like everything and they're not going to reap the reward of being faithful this bible says be not weary in well doing in other words you're doing what is right you're doing what god wants you're 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 saying what the scripture says you're living for him he's lord of your life he said don't be weary in that for in due season you're going to reap now i don't know when the due season is we are, I always like to harvest i, I hear in Herman, the you know the harvesting. We're in starting the harvesting of grapes here now, and and there's a in the, excuse me in the harvest time is when you see all the fruit of the labor. Now I don't know when your your harvest time will be, but the Bible says, <coughs> excuse me, I had trouble this morning with this. The Bible says that uh, be not weary, well doing, for in due season, in due season you'll reap. Then the, that it says. If you faint not, so many people are fainting. Heard of a race the other day that the guy thought he had won, and so he just kind of gave up the last, and the guy behind him passed him and won the race. He gave up too quick. You don't want to give up. 
I mean, there's a heaven to gain and a hell to shine. And there's a God that, uh, you know, I told him this morning, one day in heaven will be worth all the problems that you ever faced in, in, in this world. One day to be with Jesus. So I challenge you, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you'll reap. You're going to reap. I, I wish reaping was every Friday or something like that, but, but I don't know. I have prayers that's not been answered yet. But if I stay true, continue to believe, continue to confess what God says, he says, be not weary in well-doing, for in due season you'll reap if you faint not. You're the same way. You have things you're praying for. We have ladies in our church we're praying for. They're, they have migraine headaches, and we've been praying for that. We've done that for now for nearly eight years, and it seems like their headaches are still there. But I'm believing God that that, that the headache's going to stop because in due season, I, he said, be not weary and well-doing, for in due season you shall reap. You too have prayers that you're praying for. You know, it's little by little, wearing down, wearing down. That's the reason why you feel like you feel. You haven't backslid. You're facing an enemy. You're an, you're, there's an enemy that's trying to get you discouraged, trying to get you, get you down. But I'm telling you, friend, hold up your head. Confess what the Bible says about you. You are a child of God, redeemed by the blood. And you have a home in heaven. If you'll just, just stay true to him, I'm telling you, it's going to be worth everything. Don't throw in the towel. Don't say, well, I can't make it. You can make it because you're going to be strengthened by the power of the Holy Spirit. And continue to do good. It says do good to, to all men, especially those of the household of faith. You know, whenever you get your mind off of yourself and start reaching out to others, your life will take on a different meaning. So don't just focus on yourself. Focus on people that really have needs out there. Bless them. Do everything you can. As much as life in you, the Bible says. And I'm telling you, your day can be brighter and you can lift yourself up. And, and, and I just want to encourage you today on your walk with God until we cross the finish line. Don't be weary. Just stay in there. Keep chugging on because the best is yet to come. The Lord bless you and you have a super good day.